We have new details this morning about the ongoing sewer leaks in Fort Lauderdale. Residents want answers after several sewer line breaks in the recent weeks covered roads, yards, even some homes in raw sewage. In the meantime, the city says several repairs are needed before they can replace the system. CBS 4's Amber Diaz reports in Fort Lauderdale with what the residents had to say. This is a crisis that is, without, that is not that's out of control. Anger brews at a community meeting in Fort Lauderdale after four water main breaks in three weeks. Residents blaming the city's poor infrastructure and years of neglect on 60 year old pipes. In the city, it's more concerned about development and paving, you know, intersections and beautification than they are of uh, infrastructure, and it's clear that's what's happened. Aerials show murky water flooding streets in Rio Vista, Beverly Heights, and Victoria Park. Michael Bush said he was shocked when someone came to his home after the first leak and asked him to sign a waiver releasing the city from any liability from the sewage leak. He says he's not signing anything. I didn't create the problem, and for me to release the city from uh, any of their liability or negligence or malfeasance or mismanagement, seems like they're more concerned about themselves than they are of, uh, of the residents. City Commissioner Ben Sorensen did not comment on the waiver. Instead, he explained how the city is going to fix the problem. Over the next five years, he says the city will spend $600 million to replace this aging infrastructure. Now what we're planning the design for is literally replacing a about six and a half mile pipe that goes from Coral Ridge Country Club all the way down south to George Lohmeyer plant on 17th Street. That entire length of that pipe is going to be replaced, and that's what we're doing across the city. The largest fix was the 52-inch pipe that broke in two spots in High Dollar Rio Vista. Days later, a 48-inch main broke underwater in the Himmershie Canal. The silver lining, with each break, city crews responded quicker than the last. 18-hour days, and it's been incessant since then, so I think that they, you need to uh, give credit to those men doing that work. They couldn't help the break, but they've done a great job in fixing it. And the city's management says the system is back up and functioning. However, there are still several repairs to be made before they replace the entire sewage system. In Fort Lauderdale, Amber Diaz, CBS4 This Morning.